I have with me Brian Howell, and we are here at Moore Street. And uh, you go fill some big shoes here, brother. Emory Bostick has stepped aside, and now here you come in your first year. Uh, and, of course, you and I were talking off camera. We both uh, really thank a lot of Emory and Marie, and I think he's one of your mentors. Isn't he? Yeah, he's my mentor, especially once I got to the administration mm -hmm. with the alternative school. I called him a lot and uh, spoke with him a lot and helped me out through a lot of situations and gave some very good advice. And I feel it's just a blessing now to be able to come in here and, you know, with him retiring and, we come over here to, you know, get, mm -hmm. get his position. Walk these same halls that he's walked many times. And as I visit all the schools throughout the year, I never found Emory in his office. He was always in these halls. So uh, mm -hmm. you're probably going to wear out some shoes if you're going to fill his shoes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> if you, you know, I mean, that's a good thing to wear a lot of shoes. That means yeah. we're doing a lot of things around here. <laughs> Where does your success uh, come from other than people like Emory that's helped you along the way? But you've done such a good job uh, the last few years uh, at the alternative school in the county, mm -hmm. and you bring that success in here. But what do you contribute that to? Well, one of the main things is, you know, just again, just a blessing from God to be able to have that knack to be able to talk with people and with students and develop that relationship. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just upbringing from my grandma, my, uh, my mom, and my aunts and everything. And just with the just positive you know, people in the community just kind of giving good advice and I'll understanding, too, exactly. Don't never forget where I actually came from. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, open house, let's talk about that. Open house will be um, August the 3rd at 5 o'clock from 5 to 6 o'clock here at Moore Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do we expect people that come to open house at Moore Street? Well, get a chance to um, just find out exactly what we're doing at the school, just a couple of changes that we may be making, and also just to get a chance to get to know me and look at transcripts. And if you want to sit down in the office and talk to me, you get a chance to do that also. Mm-hmm. And where along your life did you figure out, I want to be in education? Um, probably um, <laughs> my second year in college. Mm -hmm. I just decided that, um, you know, um, I just want to try something different. <laughs> I, I, I was community coaching in Statesboro. Mm -hmm. And one day I just, you know, I, did, I said, this education thing might not be that bad. And mm -hmm. so I got into it. I mean, just started taking more classes, switched my major to education, and, uh, you know, I'm here now. <laughs> And watching you, uh, I know last year watching you in the halls at, uh, at the school you was at and, and seeing you interact with the kids, uh, you, I can feel a certain spirit about you. I know you love those kids, and they know you love them. Mm -hmm. How important is that, and where did that come? I, and I met your grand, grandmother, and I know there's a lot of love in her now. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a wonderful woman. But uh, how important is that? to uh, being in education? Well, one thing about it is just um, be able to develop a relationship with the students and, un and not really trying to, not trying to be their friend or anything else, but understanding where they come from. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, I, and I always tell everybody, I tell this, some of the students I've already met, you know, I started out in Dublin. Mm -hmm. I started out in Dublin kindergarten, third grade. Yeah. I lived over <laughs> in Southside. So I, you know, so I, I know about that area right there. Also, you know, then moved over to the east side and know about just the, the upbringing stuff from my, my grandma and Again, my mom and everybody else, and then it's definitely just being in church. And you know. hearing the success stories, I heard some of your kids last year that uh, it, it just kind of fell down, you know, and falling down ain't the problem. we got to get up. You know, we've seen the old saying, if you fall down seven times, you get up eight times. Exactly. And to hear those kids to be able to, to come in their alternative school and move back in to mainstream. Mm -hmm. How do those successes feel to you? It feels great because our main thing is um, sometimes, you know, people understand, think alternatives for bad people and, you know, want to treat you like a prison. And it's not that way. Mm -hmm. Alternative means somebody you messed up, but guess what? You get another chance. Mm -hmm. And so you get you got a chance and you get another choice to try to, make, you know, make a better decision the next time. Because we don't want our students to end up in the prison system. That's right. We want you to go back into the uh, regular school system, go back into the uh, community, and just be productive citizens. Mm -hmm. And we all live in this community, and and I, I would think that's one reason you want to be in education, to lift kids up. Because you know, so many people, not just kids, so many people want to tear you down. Yes, exactly. And, and you, your job, and I would think that's the fun part of it, is mm -hmm. being, being able to build these kids up. Oh, yeah, I well, definitely enjoy that, building them up and just – you know, helping them understand you have other choices, have other alternatives, and some of y'all have you have a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to find it. And uh, someone told me a long time ago that it takes everybody um, a moment to catch up with the time. Yeah. Time's not going to wait on you, but it takes a moment to catch up with the time. And eventually people do catch up. Mm -hmm. Some I'm waiting to others, but everybody catches up with it and say, okay, I need to get this done. Or they may say, okay, I should have this a long time ago, but guess what? I'm going to do it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And I know you've got a, we've been trying to get together for a few days. You've been busy. Yes. And uh, a great man, a great educator told me years ago uh, by the name, you may have heard of him, Dr. Fred Williams. Yes. Uh, mentioned to <laughs> me that if, if administrators do not do their job in the summertime, school is not going to go smoothly. Right. And I know you come on, come on board late, so you've had a lot of catching up to do get this school ready and get things going. But uh, the place looks great. I mean, first appearance when you come in, everything's looking good, ready for the kids. But uh, summer times are busy for administrators, aren't they? Exactly. I mean, one thing as far as the school being clean and looking great, I got to give that to Mr. Linder. Mm -hmm. He's our custodian. He does a great job here, and I'm, I'm happy for him. And then it's very busy because not only are we doing paperwork, but actually this uh, right now I'm adding something extra. I'm going to uh, all the students that's coming here. We, um, I decide, you know what, I need to get to know these kids before they start. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to try to, um, you know, make contacts and meet every student and their, uh, whoever they live with, going to their house. Wow. Going there to visit, knocking on, you know, I call, of course, we, we, we make an appointment. We're not just going to show up. Yeah. But we do. But it's, 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 you know, I've been received well so far, and I, I enjoy it. And it's always funny because, you know, they kind of get that look like, you over here? I'm like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, man, so basically I just really starting out on a good note with them because I don't want you coming in call you later on mm -hmm. and when your kids messed up your child is messed up that way so okay well, at least we start out on, on, on a positive uh, note that's right and you you hit on something earlier so many people want to be friends to their kids or, or when they teach and yeah you want to have a great relationship but you're not here to be their friend you're here to educate them make them the very best they can be and all kids are different but uh, and I, I would think that's one reason you go into these homes, isn't it? Oh, yes, de definitely, because like I said, they, they, got, they got plenty of friends. Mm -hmm. They have plenty of friends. But besides that, even with Facebook, they got friends. <laughs> friends on top of friends. <laughs> but at the end of the day, though, they have those, but they want somebody that, that can actually show them a better route. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, with the staff that we have here at Moore Street, you know, we have that staff that can able to help us lead these kids in a, in a better direction. And also, again, just trying to make Dublin City look the best way as possible. Okay, and finally, what about dress? What do you what what do parents need to hear that are listening to us right now? What what's the dress code here at Morse? Well, the dress code is um, simple, the same way they have already um, that was in place before. We'll have um, the uh, solid color shirts, collar shirts, um, blue black khaki pants, and also um, just looking the handbook, they'll still be wear, wear solid color jeans. Okay, um, and they'll be strictly blue jeans uh, only. I mean, no uh, designs on the pockets, no rips, or anything else. Okay. Okay, open house, August 3rd, 5, five, to, six, five, five to, to 6. Yes, sir. Okay, looks okay. like you're ready. Yes, I am. Okay, Brian Howell, uh, we wish you great success this year. We're excited about you being here, and mm. we're going to be seeing a lot of you this year. So, yes, uh, But I really appreciate you taking time to talk with me. All right, thanks, sir. Okay, thank All you. Right.